Hey guys, it's Tyrone here, and before this Red Dead video starts, I just want to mention that this video isn't really going to be all that great. There are some cuts here and there. One of those cuts is because I've forgotten how to punch because I haven't played Red Dead that much. So that's why there's going to be one cut you still see later on in this video. I don't think this video is really going to be that great, but I don't really care. But anyways, guys, I'll let you watch the gameplay, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Uh -huh. I'm the fella tied to the tree, so I guess I must be. Yeah, I've met some oh, of your boys. Arthur, before. my boy. Oh, yeah? My dear boy. What's going on? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Yep. <laughs> Not sure what Sadie Adler was doing, but let's go take a look at this guy. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there for now. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is nice. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. All right, then. Morning, Arthur. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Oh, this is where he's at. Time to get up, sir. Ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Oh, what's this dude doing? Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, 
I got lumbago. Very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Yeah, might as well help the dude out. Get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. All right, that should be pretty easy. Come on, Arthur. Easy, easy. 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 It's okay. Easy. You're okay. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. There we Gentlemen, sir, a gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, hmm. anyway, thank you. Anyways, Mom, continuing go. forth. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally, look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high mm. and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Watch out for Black Eyed Sarah. She's got the clap. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. 
So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Hmm. The coffee. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Look at this. Uh, might have to wait. Are. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellas. All right, I'm not going to really buy that. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. That does not look good. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Uh, get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Well, you know, they caught Jenny's boy pinching apples from the county store. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Sir. No trouble now, please. All right. Uh oh. I'm getting what I paid for. Hey! Hey you! 
A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Huh? I paid for nothing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Think you two could... Oh, crap. Uh... What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. I did okay. not mean... Fine. I did not mean to kill that man. Yeah. I did not mean to kill him. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots uh -oh. of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Oh boy. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right, then. Hey. Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Give yeah. Please. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough. Oh, no. I didn't mean nothing by it. Oh. You stop right here. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. All right, come on. Come on up. I'm not. I'm not a savage. Most of the time. Okay, partner. No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick, not one sense in this here old mind. See ya. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Oh. All right, 
Might as well return this horse back to Valentine. He's in here. can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, I got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer! Come here, you! You piece bastard! Help, 
Like this, and that, and this, and that. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. again I see Arthur look who we found sniffing about Josiah Trelawney the very same well, well I thought you'd gone to New York and miss all this glamour you must be joking how are you well quite well indeed I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen you're not very popular there it seems ah Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure! There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur! Go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. 